Shalom, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shah, Ka Hala Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Waha Raka Quidash, double honor to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone, the men who taught me this truth, peace and blessings to the hopeful elect that continue in the work of our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shah, in all fear, Shalom. Lord willing, this lesson will be edifying. The Most High is the power of balance. All right. The God of the King James Version, which that word God is a Greek word that only means power. So the true power of the King James Version is a power of balance. The Most High, and his name is Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. We here at Great Millstone address the Most High, Yahweh, in the name of his only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. That's why we say Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shah, and the Most High is the power of balance. All right, the Book of Proverbs, chapter twenty and verse ten, tells us Proverbs twenty and verse ten, diverse weights and diverse measures. Both of them are like abomination to the Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah. All right, so different weights and different measures. Both of them are like abomination to the Most High. And abomination means a filthy thing. All right, so that's why the Most High is a power of balance. And unbalance is a filthy thing to the Most High. The book of Proverbs, chapter 16. Verse 11, and it reads, A just weight and balance are the Lord's, Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai's. All the weights of the bag are his works. All right, so the Most High have created a balance within the earth. Why? Because he is a balanced power. All right, that's why when the Christian church pushed that false doctrine, like the Most High is just this um, one sided. Or has one emotion, which is all love, love, love. All right, the scripture does not agree with that notion that they make. This is Isaiah 45 and verse 7. I form the light and create darkness. So that's balanced within itself. Okay, that the Most High have formed. It says, I form the light and create darkness. So that's balanced. Such as the moon and the sun, all right? The sun rules the day, and the moon is the lesser light that rules the night. That's a balance, light and day, okay? Up and down, okay? The Most High is not, uh, uh, he does not dwell in abomination, which is a false balance. It says, I make peace and create evil, all right? Another balance of the Most High that he have created, peace, all right, and evil. Peace meaning um Peaceable good times and evil meaning ill time or bad times. It says, I, the Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, do all these things. So the King James Version, all right, speaks of the Most High being a balanced power. All right, let's get a, a couple of more examples of balance that's found in the scriptures. Lord willing, this be edifying. The book of Proverbs chapter 30 verse 9 it says I'm going to start at verse 8 it says remove far from me vanity and lies give me neither poverty nor riches feed me with food convenient for me alright so the scripture says what neither give me poverty nor riches alright and that's how the most I deal with his men alright he neither give us poverty nor riches, all right? The scripture says, lest I be full, all right? A rich man stays full. It says, and deny thee, and say, who is the Lord? Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah, all right? It says, or lest I be poor and steal, and take the name of my power in vain, all right? So the Most High is not, especially being in his truth, all right? Mainly being in his truth, the Most High is not going to give you neither poverty nor riches, all right? Because if you've got too much, okay, 
there's no need for faith in the Most High, all right, in, in Yahweh Shah. It says, lest I be fool and deny thee and say, who is the Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah. Or, you know, if you be, so to speak, piss poor, eating out of the trash, you're going to deny the Most High. You're going to say that the Most High doesn't exist, all right, because you don't see no somewhat physical evidence, all right? You're keeping your faith and nothing is, is happening. It says, or lest I be poor and steal and take the name of my power in vain, all right? That's a balance of the Most High. All right, he's going to keep you on an a equal uh, playing field, so to speak. All right, so let's read that again. Proverbs 30 and 8, remove far from me vanity and lies. Give me neither poverty nor riches. Feed me with food convenient for me. And that's a balance. The Most High giving us that um, daily bread. Okay, verse 9, lest I be fool and deny thee and say, who is the Lord? Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, or lest I be poor and steal and take the name of my power in vain. All right, so we don't want to be in that state of mind. And the Most High is not an unbalanced power. He is not full of abominations to put that, that state upon us. Now, if you fall into a, a diverse situation or if you fall into an a, a evil situation or an ill situation, know that it comes from the Most High, all right? And just know that it's a test of faith and know that the Most High is merciful enough and he's not going to allow nothing uh, past your limit. He's not going to give you nothing past your limit and allow that to happen unto you, all right? That's that balance, okay? You're going to have somewhat good days and somewhat bad days. That's a balance of the Most High because any other way is an abomination unto him. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 13, because I spoke about the balance of the Most High when concerning him giving you hard times but giving you a way to escape. 1 Corinthians chapter 10. In verse 13, it says, There have no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. So, the brothers that are in this truth, and just say a two-third in the world, the same temptation that takes a two-third in the world, it's common to take uh, one of the hopefully elect that's in this truth. It says, But the Most High is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able. That's a balance, okay? But with, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape that ye may be able to bear it. And that's the ultimate balance of the Most High that he put upon his men, all right? He'll let you go to the go through the tough times, so to speak, but it's a balance with the net, all right? He's not going to give you too much. Because he know your limits, okay? And also, when things seem to be getting to where you can't take it anymore, he make a way to escape out of it. That's the, the ultimate balance that he gives his men, all right? And that's a beautiful thing. Let's read it again, First Corinthians 10 and 13. There have no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man, but the Most High is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, but will with the temptation... Also make a way to escape that ye may be able to bear it. And that's beautiful balance, all right, of the Most High. Ecclesiastes chapter 7 and verse 16. And the scriptures are, are filled with examples of balance of the Most High. These are just a few, all right. Ecclesiastes 7 and 16. Be not righteous over much, neither make thyself over wise. Why should have... Thou destroy thyself. Verse 17, be not over much wicked, neither be thou foolish. Why should have thy die before thy time? All right. So that's a balance of the most high. Okay. Not being over righteous. All right. And not being um, uh, uh, lesser than uh, uh, righteous. Okay. Being, having, having an equal balance. Okay. This is um, Proverbs chapter 13 and verse 13 because the book of Galatians okay another balance of the most high let's get that real quick the book of Galatians chapter 6 and verse 7 another balance of the most high tells us Galatians 6 and 7 be not deceived the most high is not mocked for whatsoever a man soweth that shall he also reap so if you um, sow 
a bad seed in the ground, you're going to reap a bad crop. All right, that's a balance. Okay, that's why we're storing up our treasures in heaven in order to have that protective hedge about us in the day uh, of, of total chaos upon America. That's a balance. Okay, so whatever a man saw of that, what he also shall reap. Okay, so the book of Proverbs chapter 13 and 13 tells us, Whosoever despises the word shall be destroyed. And that's right. So two-thirds of our people, all right, and those that are, are profane outside of the temple, all right, they despise the words of the Most High, okay, which the words of the Most High is coming out of the mouth of the prophets, giving you warning, and you despise that. Therefore, you can't expect um, salvation when despising your, your salvation, all right, when you despise your salvation, when you shine your salvation, when you avoid your salvation, you can't expect to receive uh, deliverance. That's unbalanced. So the scripture says, whosoever the despises the word shall be destroyed or balanced, but he that feareth the commandment shall be rewarded. And that reward of, uh, of those that fear Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai shall be deliverance. That, that's the ultimate balance of the Most High. That's the balance of the Most High. Okay? Uh, to, re to receive uh, Yahweh Shai, to follow the, the, the path that is laid before you, which is that straight and narrow, all right, that old path that um, leads you to salvation. But to follow that negative path, all right, to sway off of, of, of the straight and narrow, okay, you're going to receive what? Destruction. That's a balance. Okay? Um, St. John 3 and 18. To explain that furthermore, St. John 3 and 18, he that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed on the Son of the on, on the on the name of the only begotten Son. Let's read that again. St. John 3 and 18. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of the Most High. So that's a uh, 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 balance, all right? Those that believe shall receive salvation. Those that don't believe are going to receive damnation, all right? Eternal damnation, eternal de destruction. And that's a balance of the Most High, all right? Because otherwise, it would be an abomination to the Most High, okay? Um, Proverbs 11 and 1. A false balance is an abomination to the Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah. But a just weight is his delight. So the Most High, the true power of the King James Version, Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah, he delights in a just weight, all right? A perfect weight, a balanced weight, because he is the power of balance. Lord willing, I pray that this been edifying. Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shah. Call halal Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, Waha Raka Quedash. Double honor to the men who taught me this truth, the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. Shalom and death to America.